There's two ways to keep your rosin in good condition. One is to avoid damaging it, and the other is to be able to repair it if there is any damage. Here is one that's in perfect condition, and we'd love to keep it this way, of course, throughout its life. First way, while you're rosining the bow, you can let your finger or thumb protect the ferrule of the frog. And so when the bow moves towards the end, the ferrule won't chip the rosin. If your rosin is in a very, very cold temperature, it's going to crack. This one was actually left out overnight last night here where it was very cold. And the next morning, there's cracks through it. The great thing about this casing though is that it does hold the rosin together. So if it does end up like this, you'll still get through the life of your rosin without any of it uh, falling out. However, if the worst does happen and you're left with something like this, what we want to do is do a little repair to it. And the best way to do that is to use a flame. So I have a lighter, so this is a jet lighter, but you could use a match or any kind of um, sort of barbecue uh, lighter. And all we need to do is run that flame across the top of the rosin. Don't keep the flame in one place, because that'll melt it too much. Keep it moving back and forth across the top and down the sides. And what that's going to do is melt a sort of a seal across the top and hold it together on the inside. Then as you work the rosin further work the bow further into the rosin, you might have to do it again and again, but you're still going to get good life out of your rosin.